Good evening, David. Welcome back. You and me, me and you, notion once more. <laughs> Come on, get on in here. Click around, click around. And oh, oh, tell them, tell them who you reached out to. Come on, David. Come on. You know, oh, tell them who you reached out to, David. So I reached out to him. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on. I reached out to I reached out to Notion. I reached. I, re I, I reached. So I reached out, out to Notion. Exactly, yes. My manager and I are in love with Notion after watching Unjaded Jade's video. I got my whole squad on Notion now. Would love to do a video on your platform. And Notion responded to me. <laughs> I was curious to see if you might be interested in partnering with us on a video to share how you're using Notion. We're really excited about sponsoring your work. Let me know what you think. And so then I responded to them. Dreams really do come true. I never thought I would say that about an app. It really has changed my workflow, my mental space. I mean, I have told everyone and their mom to get on it ASAP. I should just turn on the camera right now, in fact. Anyway, copy my manager to further the conversation. It's like, shut up. Let's get into this. I'm gonna show you how my notion is set up. Sorry, not yet, there's more to this intro. For those who don't know me, sorry, I do like these long-winded intros all the time. Just skip. <laughs> Here are the facts. Notion made me feel like I have a job because a lot of times it's either days where I feel like I did absolutely nothing or days where I feel like all I did was work. Notion said, Damon, let me help you. Notion made me feel like I could stop after completing my to-do list instead of adding more things to the list. Notion said, Damon, let me help you. Notion looked at my iPhone notes in my Google Drive and saw all of that clutter and said, Damon, say it with me, everybody. You can make this workspace as minimal or as intricate as you want it to be. Uh, you can like really emojify like every page that you have. You can put these pictures up here. Uh, you don't have to do any of that. You can change like the font. You can like do this little thing. Boom. You can like highlight things quickly. <laughs> You can go up here and change all the fonts. Yo. So when I open my dashboard, like this is where I'm at. This is where I spend, if, you, if you're looking for Damon D, I'm on this page. Damon D's in the dashboard. Uh, this is where I keep my stuff. This is, again, just a page that I made. Every page like you create. So it's really whatever you want it to be. Like I'm really up here in the done in five and the main focus, I split my tasks into two things. And I try to keep the main focus on like maybe between two and four tasks for the day. And then the last thing here is film notion and I cannot wait because then you do this and it just feels good. And you don't feel the need to keep on adding more and more stuff, you know why? Because down here, I have it broken down. Sorry, half of this is in French, by the way. Maybe these are things that need to get done on Friday. They don't necessarily need to be in my like huge to-do list because then you just feel like you're never getting things done because your list never ends, right? And that's like not a good feeling. Right? Now, when Thursday comes and I have all these things to do, I'll just cut that and then organize them up here. Like what needs to be done and that's that. I keep this star here because then I know like this is the the next day. Um, that way like I could start planning things for next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. These are like next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, not this week. I also have this IG header, Instagram header, because sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, I should remind my audience about this. So here's an example, like you would do this. Every action on this app starts with the like slash, and then you have all these options of like things you could do. So I would do this to do, and I would be like, uh, remind audience, they, are that bitch like whatever <laughs> now down here in my weekly to do i added this template again like you could do everything on this app so i just have to click that and then it adds it to do immediately and that was just as simple as how does every action start on notion slash so you go to slash i typed in template you can type it in as well you don't have to scroll template and then again you have like all these options <laughs> but i just click close and then you have the option add a new to do so boom I may be able to combine this page with my, I call them my like inventory, things that I wanna do, like high level things that I wanna do before the month ends. So for this month, I mean, it's like a simple page, as you can see, that's why I'm like, I could just move this over there, make it minimalist. Here are the things I wanna accomplish by December 31st. And I do this every month, like when all is said and done and all these like little tasks, are happening and occupying your day like what are the big picture items that you wanted to do for that month this is where i put them and it's interesting to look back like uh october i did like i did that shit and except for like finishing my german book <laughs> next i have my team pages like fran is my manager and we share a lot of pages here so all of these sub pages here under fran are shared with fran you would just go up here to share and then you can email it to people and then you could work on the same thing in real time same thing with my basically assistant at this point chloe uh we share all these pages i also have my personal page which is uh just like things that nobody else like needs to 
know about. One of the pages I share is my video inventory. You could tell that I like, like this word, right? This is a page that's really important for me as a YouTuber. I put all my videos here. Uh, I can tag and flag and whatever them as ideas, if they're finished ideas, if I'm working on those ideas. And the coolest part is that you can open each of these and like I have all my notes in here. Title, description, a tags, comment, social, notes. And then like here are my filming notes and this is what I'm going off of right now actually on my phone, my like secret phone down here. I was afraid of this at first. Sarah Dietschy posted a video of her notion and I was afraid of this. This is what it looked like before and this worked as well. This was like totally fine with me. I used it for two months. So y'all see that I did like six, seven videos and I completed it this way. And in each of these, you have it broken down. And like this worked. It doesn't look as good as it does now, but like that also works. That's called the board view. Thank God now I can delete this whole thing. What I liked about the board view was that you could just like kind of drag and drop. Oh, working on that one now. This video is actually done. I could put it over there. But now, no, I use the video inventory. You can create your own tags here. Like you just type like finished and then it creates the tag for you. So I created these three tags. I created these columns. You click these columns. You can name the column. The most important part here is that you have to select what property type it is. Like, do you need to put a number there? Do you need to put a, like a person there? As you can see, that's what I did here. Um, status, what's happening with the video. Then you go over to publish date. This might end up, I might delete this column because sometimes I don't, I don't really need all this information. You know, I post on Thursdays. Like I work on one video at a time for the most part. I'm still playing around with this, you guys, because I do feel like I'm a, like a streamliner. And right now I'm, I'm putting in a lot of information that Frankly, I don't know if I need. I'm just testing it out. What's important is that the option is there because you could use it depending on what your schoolwork is, what your job is. I wanted to show you real quick. So there was this letter I wrote to myself in high school um, and I was like, maybe I'll make a video of it. I'm not sure. So for that, I would click here. Like that's just an idea. So publish date, who knows? Type, it's like life. Editor, like I'll probably edit that one. Depends how many times I stutter. <laughs> So watch again, we're in the table. I wanna start developing this idea. I click open. As you see, there's like this filler text here. I already created a template called video template, but if you wanted to create your own template where every time you open a new page, you'd have this option, you would just click new template and create one and it would save itself. So video template. And like, I'm already off to a good start. So this is where I would start at. Okay, but say I need to like ask Chloe to like ransack my apartment and find the letter cause I lost it. At Chloe. And you could tag her like, Chloe, I don't know what happened. Like my dog, <laughs> I like don't have, like ate the letter, can you like write another one or something? And then she would get notified. Like this is a lot of information to take in and say I just wanna focus on like the videos I'm working on. You can go over to filter, add a filter, add a filter, where video, again, these are all the columns that you created for yourself. So this would be status, right? Contains, in progress. I only want to see the videos that are in progress. Like, and I can keep it that way. One of my most common requests is for me to make a French course. And I've like not done that for years. Finally, I'm like, I'm doing this. Of course, now there's construction of my entire building on the facades. Like there's construction everywhere, all right? They should get on Notion and really organize their life and like streamline. Here are all the like lessons that'll be in the beginner French course that I'm going to sell. See now I really wish I would have created a database for this because um, that way I'd be able to see like which videos I already completed, um, which videos Chloe's gonna edit. And it's nice because you go in here and I have all of my notes that I can go back to. Again, this was like the most basic way to use Notion, but that's all I knew how to do at the time. Now another page that I share was with my manager Fran who handles my like deals database. It's the same thing except that Except that nothing, uh, it works the exact same way. Uh, each of these are pages, these are all sponsorships. Now once we're done filming and editing, we'll click this, click this, and then click sent for approval. Here for this video, for example, Notion, I, as we see the status is that I'm filming and editing. Contract's been signed, can't turn back now, Notion. <laughs> no, but after this, uh, we could, you know, cancel these out and we could click sent for approval. And again, these tags, all it is is this, like that could be a tag if I wanted it to be one. Here in the page itself, again, this was a template that was created since these are the things that won't change ever. Next level though would be to combine deals with my video inventory. In fact, actually, hold on. 
I don't even need this database. Yo, I don't need this database. All this information could be in my video inventory under a category like uh, contract notes. And again, we could have a whole conversation here in the comment discussion section. I would say, Fran, like, what do you do? So those are the professional ways that you could use this app. That's how I use it. Um, but here in personal, for example, like here's like dumb shit, like things I wanna buy, like for my house, places I wanna go, like I'm walking through Paris and I'm like, damn, that'd be a nice place to go on a date. Now I have a place for it. You could also go above and beyond, like maybe take a picture of it and watch, you could do this. You could go over here to gallery. Like you could really drag and drop like a picture here, hottest place in town. And like, let's just find a quick picture. Like this, like say that this is the hottest place in town. There's the hottest place in town, okay? So now if you go right here, <laughs> you would have like a gallery view of all like the hottest places. Another thing that I want to do is like, once the gym's open, of course, um, is this training catalog. Like I haven't found a way yet that I can track my progress in like weightlifting. I'm not weightlifting, but just like going to the gym and seeing progress, right? I think that we could do it this way though. Say that this will be chest press. Week one, say I wanna do like an eight week program. Week one, again, this was just like, I went up here, I changed the name. You always have to go to property type. I clicked number, cause it's gonna be a number that I enter. Like 60 or something. Week two, 65. You could go in this chest press page, click here. You could like drop in like your progress pics. Yeah, but here in my personal, I keep it pretty slim. Places in Paris gym progress, things I need to buy, uh, things I wanted to watch and read. You know when people send you stuff like, you should watch episode two, and then like you, you're you like, okay, you never watch it. Um, well, you can keep track of it here. Now, I wanna show you, you could send PDFs it's, and they look beautiful. Let me just find a page, the December inventory. Again, we, I like this word. I'm just like a to-do list kind of guy, I guess. And again, these can all be moved, by the way. Like you do this, you highlight, you click these, uh, six little dots and then you can drag and drop it but I like it way over here and then down here uh, she can track her hours of how many hours she worked what the date was boom boom pow now this isn't done yet because I like watched every notion video known to mankind this month but I still used it like I was using this app so so for example Chloe gets back in a few days and say I want to like print this out and be like here are your tasks for the month Chloe please like execute all before the holidays I could go here, I could export to PDF, boom, pow. Simple, beautiful, formatted, and like efficient. Whoa, okay, so as I mentioned, this is an app that I use all the time, so much that I DM'd them. And the last thing I'll say is again, that this app just like gave me peace of mind. I always felt like everything was everywhere, and it was. Film Notion. Boom. And just like that, once I finish these to-do lists, I'm done. I don't go back to the to-do list and start adding more stuff. No, I did what I had to do today. <laughs> and tomorrow's tasks will get done tomorrow. That sounds like a healthy work-life balance, doesn't it? That's what I learned in Europe. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you like my videos. Um, so follow on Instagram if you'd like to like hear what I got planned. If you do want to use Notion, will you please use my link in the description box below. Damon Notion. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next Thursday. Later. So before Notion, I was like a dedicated like pen and paper kind of dude. But then if you think about it, like. It just doesn't make sense anymore, you know? Like you can't search anything. You can make everything look better here, do it quicker. Um, so I'm just fully converted. As you can tell, I'm just like, sponsor my entire channel from now on Notion, please. Things that needed to happen on, what's that mean? Also, thank you Unjaded Jade. Thank you Sarah Dici. Thank you Ioana Petrescu. These are all people who use Notion and like showed me how they did it. And now I'm just so, I'm just like, shut up. Let's get into this. Mm -hmm.